And welcome to a breaking news report, a special report here on Free Minds TV. Journalist Sam Dodson, who is jailed without a trial, has been released. And not only that, but we have him live in the studio on the show. Welcome. That's right, I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to a special report of Free Minds TV. And welcome to a brand new special edition of Free Minds TV, where we challenge you, the viewer, to think outside the box. With you, as always, is Toby. And Nick. And out of jail, freshly out of jail, still in his <laughs> orange jumpsuit, we've got <laughs> Sam Dodson, who was previously jailed, well, for initially videotaping in a public lobby here in Keene, in the Keene District Court. And then, well, you've been jailed without a trial. Yep. Um, but they finally let you out. Can we just... Real quick, this is breaking news. Um, we're going to have a full edition on the show, but you've got a lot of places to get to. You just got out of jail, yeah. clearly. Yeah, so the, uh, they came in this morning, told me to grab my things, and brought me into holding. And the, um, the uh, bail commissioner was on his way in, apparently. And they're like, you're being released. We're going to change you into your clothes. And I'm like, I need to see the terms of the, of the bail, of the PR bail. And they had the same thing that they've offered the last three times. Well, they've added, I can't possess firearms now, apparently. And so the bail commissioner gets there, and I tell him, he, I can't agree to these, and the judge hasn't made a determination, and this is not a lawful order, and my attorney's on his way. I uh, don't understand this, and I'm not uh, signing anything until my attorney's here. And he said, I don't care about your counsel. <laughs> he got ticked off that uh, he had to come out there, wanted his 40 bucks, and uh, they sent me back in the cell. Then they pulled me back out after a couple minutes. And he just read stuff off. And then he turned around and left. And then the jailers are like, all right, time for you to go. Let's go. And they started dragging me out. So the they door. essentially beat it, booted you out of jail. Yes. And they didn't even make me change out of the jail clothes because they, let you keep they knew I wasn't. They were like, just leave. Please leave. It's something to do the, the TV rounds in. Anyways, real quick for people who are new to this, because this is actually making some breaking headlines. People are first discovering what's going on around the world. I know a lot of people are very familiar with the case. But can, mm -hmm. you, can you sum up um, within a minute or so of what this is all about. Why were you be behind bars? Why were they withholding a trial? What's going on here? This is all about uh, freedom of the press. I mean, I was in the lobby of a courthouse, which is public property. I'm a journalist. I was there with a the camera filming. The judge, I think, was embarrassed on a previous incident where people were taping inside the courtroom and, and created this overreaching order, uh, which I was there to show that, no, I have a, a right to exercise freedom of the press. And uh, when they arrested me for it, I decided I'm not willing to participate and cooperate with these people who are acting unlawfully. And because of that, they have shown that you don't really have rights under this system unless you consent to it and you go through and jump through all the little hoops that they want to put up for you. And this is how government grows out of control. They do these little incremental steps, one little bit at a time until eventually you're looking back saying, wow, what happened to all of these rights? Right. And now this is something, you, this is an act of civil disobedience um, where you, you knew what you were getting into. You're trying to point out a bad law. I wasn't expecting all of this. Well, I mean, not it just kind of happened, but... Uh, well, yeah. you, you kind of know that if you're going to be pushing the government's buttons, oh, to a certain certainly. extent, they will push back. This would yep. not only happen to you, but anyone who tested the waters of what the government will do if you break their silly little rules, right. um, even if you have the right in the con a constitutional if, right to do so. But if they're swearing an oath to uphold the laws and, and this, they're pledging their honor and their integrity to uphold these rights on behalf of the people who grant them the power to do so in the first place, uh, you know, that's a huge integrity problem. And I don't think it's an excuse to say, well, because he's remaining silent, we're not going to give him all these other rights. We're not going to let him have an attorney. We're not going well, to let him right have an attorney. Well, you have the right to remain silent. I mean, it's, you not have the right you, to remain silent, don't you? No. No, apparently, right. apparently not in New Hampshire. It seemed, I always was brought up, yes, the right to remain silent, uh, whatever. I guess that doesn't, it's not in their purview to give you that. Now, um, originally you were charged with the contempt of court, correct? Well, not contempt of court. court. I was never in the courtroom. Disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct, okay. Um, and then they added uh, resisting arrest, failure to process, and theft for, they were trying to take my uh, professional HD camera. Which is yours. Yes. <laughs> not, it was yeah, not. they couldn't find a serial number on it. It was ridiculous. Which means you must have stolen it. Anyways, the serial <laughs> number was there, though they just didn't know how, where to look for it. Right. Um, now, 
most of those charges have since been dropped, including mm -hmm. the original arresting charge of contempt of court. How are they still charging you with the others when you throw the others out the window once the original charge is dropped? They're saying no, um, and it gets into complex legal reasons as to why, and they're also trying to bring a new one, uh, common law criminal contempt, which the judge can issue, but he doesn't have jurisdiction over public property or the lobby. He's got jurisdiction over the courtroom, and I was never in the courtroom. So, and police officers have to charge by statute in New Hampshire, as in most states. So they can't bring this charge because it's not a, a statute. It's not written in the New Hampshire RSAs, and I was never under the judge's jurisdiction, so he can't issue it. So I don't know how exactly they're going to levy that one. All right, so real quick, and we'll go over the all of this when you appear on this week's edition of Free Minds TV, but you're just out on recording day, so we wanted to get something out to out to the people to show Sam is free, get us a quick wrap up of why they let you out. So let's go back to that. Previously, they're withholding a trial from you until you're willing to give your name. You did give your fingerprints, so which legally should be your name, but they're still withholding a trial from you. Started making uh, big splashes in the Spread Press with a mm -hmm. front page article on the Boston Globe, as well as a few articles in the Keene Sentinel, the local paper, paper here, as well as blogs across the internet. So people are really starting to see this story and then after that you filed uh, some, uh, some new paperwork that seems to have made the government officials a little bit nervous. Yeah, we sent a tort letter which let them know that their actions were unlawful, that I was being held unlawfully, that the charges would be beaten, and the city and taxpayers are incurring a liability on behalf of the people in the Keene Police Department who are taking these actions, and the longer that they keep me in jail, the greater the civil liability becomes, and the next day they scheduled a trial and now here I am just a few days after that. Well, that is some great news, and if you want to get the full report on this, tune into this next week's edition of Free Minds TV, episode 114. It'll be up on the website come this Friday, so, and I know that you're actually going around making the rounds to Free Talk Live is mm -hmm. your next stop, so um, grab the archive of that one, or we're recording this the, the 9th of June, so if you want to uh, check out the ar ar that archive, uh, log on to freetalklive.com, check out the, the archive for the 9th of June, but um, or check out this week's edition of Free Minds TV, which you will be on to tell your entire story and maybe what's next in the future. You are facing criminal charges still, and yep. hopefully those will be tossed out and we'll move on from there. I'm sure this story is not over and we'll continue to follow it. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks so much, Sam. It's okay. great to have you out. You going to shake his hand? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quiet, folks. Huh? Mm -hmm. Log on to freemindstv.com for more, as well as the full interview with Sam this Friday, as well as blogs, news, and the radio side of the show. It's been Toby here with you. And Nick. And Sam. Have a great night.